Hi, my name's Evan, uh, here at Sarah Laser. We have some of your samples here, and we've done a little bit of testing and figured out some good settings. Uh, we're gonna show you a couple different uh, ways of doing this with the light weld welding system. We're using the XR model. And we Not have some, necessary for their application, but that's what we're using. Yeah, you don't necessarily have to have the XR. It's gonna help you out with some of the thinner parts, getting better control, but you, you can do any of this with uh, any of the light weld models. Um, yeah, so uh, the XR, the, the benefit of the XR is it gives you a deeper penetration on, on thicker materials, uh, but it also gives you the ability to turn the power down a little bit more when working with thinner materials. Um, so, but yeah, so this range of material you have here though is uh, applicable to any of the light growth models. Um, but I'm gonna show you some, some things, um, some different kinds of ways of doing this. Uh, this will be one of them, you see this is some testing we've done use modulation using modulation with the laser so we're, we're pulsing the laser at a set amount of times um, per second um, and we can vary that and it'll change the appearance of the weld but i'm gonna pretty much stick to one of those and then give you a, a smooth example also uh, at least for the video when we ship you back some of these parts we'll uh we'll, we'll give you a little bit of more of a variety but um, all right so I'm gonna just hand hold these while I weld them. The setting that I'm on now is meant for uh, this, uh, stain this thickness of stainless here. So we're at about 550 watts, uh, roughly a third of the way up, up, up our power. Um, we have it modulating four times per second and a three millimeter width. And we have about um, 24 centimeters a minute as our wire speed. Uh, we like to go a little slower when we're doing this modulation setting around the tubes. It gives you some control, especially since we're doing this by hand currently. Um, yeah, you can do this on a rotary also. So, here we go. around the inside of this pipe. Perfect. Uh, it looks pretty good. All right, so um, we're going to do the exact same thing, but uh, not using a modulation setting. So I'm actually just gonna use a factory preset. I'm going to uh, look at this chart here and it's telling me for wire welding, we're gonna use stainless steel. A2 as the preset program and then for this thickness we're going to be roughly around uh, 500 600 watts somewhere in there so I'm just going to walk over here to my welder and then put the preset program A2 Give it a little bit of extra width here, and uh, let's see, I'll speed up my wire speed a little bit. Let's try around 50 centimeters a minute. Uh, now we may have to adjust this. I haven't actually done a trial with uh, this part with the setting yet, but we'll see how it comes out uh, right off the right off the start here. Seems to be absolutely perfect. You can 
see this is much faster. The modulation is a nice appearance, but the continuous wave drive is much faster. Still getting full penetration on the inside there. Now, if we wanted to make a change to this, uh, for instance, if we wanted to make it wider, maybe a little bit colder, uh, we could also do that. So I'm going to go down. I'm going to go over to my settings and increase that two on the bottom to a five, so it gets uh, about 30% wider. And then I will um, turn the power down just a little bit, and we'll see what. I'd be fine with just widening it. Yeah, maybe I can just widen it. So 30% wider. We'll go a little bit faster. Let's we'll see, see what it does. So give you an idea of the change, what, what different changes it do.